When the roundabout was first announced, several people expressed concerns over the functionality of a traffic circle. KCAU 9 reporter Alyssa Tash spent the day talking with people in one Siouxland community already home to several roundabouts. She shares why the circular traffic pattern can be beneficial. Norfolk, Nebraska is home to more than six roundabouts, with most residents passing through one every day. I spoke with the Norfolk city engineer to see why these traffic junctions are so popular in the Nebraska city. I would say there will be a time in the future when insurance companies um, require a community to consider a roundabout before they would ever install a signal, um, just because they are safer. Six months ago, Norfolk, Nebraska unveiled its newest roundabout, adding one more to their collection. But it wasn't without concern from the residents of Norfolk. I'm pretty confident that they probably all had a little bit of pushback from the community as they were going in. Um, in the end, once they were there, um, I've heard from many, many of the skeptics, uh, you know, that they were surprised at how well they have worked. Roundabouts are a surefire way to keep the flow of traffic moving and reduce the amount of T-bone accidents, but they're also economically beneficial. The cost of operation, you don't have signals, signal control systems, um, the signal heads, you don't have any of that infrastructure to maintain. Um, you don't have any electric bill for the operation of the signal systems. With the amount of roundabouts scattered across Norfolk, most residents have gotten used to driving through them, and some residents find the circular drive fun. I think once people figure out how they work, to look left first, get in the right lane, um, I think it's just beneficial all around. You don't have to stop if there were a stoplight or a stop sign. If Sioux City were to go through with the roundabout plan, it wouldn't be the first one in northwest Iowa. Orange City opened their first roundabout last year. Alyssa Tatch, KCAU 9 News.